Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to carry out t test in Excel. A t test is a statistical method used to determine if there is a significant difference between the means of two groups. It helps to analyze whether the observed differences between the groups are due to actual variation in means or if they could have occurred by chance. There are mainly two types of t test. The first one is independent sample t test. This test compares the means of two independent groups to determine if there is a statistically significant difference between them. For instance, it might be used to compare the mean test scores of students from two different schools to see if one school performs significantly better than others. Now, in the independent sample t test, the, there is an assumption. The assumption is of variances. Are the variances equal? You can see of two groups or they are not equal of two groups. So in both this scenario, we'll have to activate the relevant option in Excel. So let's take one example in Excel workbook. Here, we are having the marks of section A students and marks of section B students. We want to see that is there any significant difference in the marks of section A and section B. We'll frame the null hypothesis as there is no significant difference in the marks of section A and section B. Now, it is necessary that you activate data analysis tool pack in Excel. So for this, you will go in file, go in options, add-ins, activate analysis tool pack, go. Make sure that the tick is there, analysis tool pack, click OK. When you will click on it in data, you will get the data analysis tab done. Three options are there. T-test, that is a pack two sample for means. This is a dependent sample T-test, which we'll see later on. Two sample, assuming the equal variances. Two sample, assuming unequal variances. So the first one is for this part, equal variances. And the second one is for unequal variances. So let's start assuming the equal variances. Click OK. Let me remove this and do it again so that you can understand. Click here, variable one range selected. Now, if your data consists of header, make sure that you tick on labels. Click OK. Done. And the result is ready. Now let me copy this result into the word file. So it's already copied. So the hypothesis is there is no significant difference in marks of section A and B. The alternative hypothesis is there is a significant difference in marks of section A and section B. These are the mean marks of section A and section B. You will have to focus on the P value. This is your P value, two tail P value. Let's write the interpretation. As the p-value is less than, this is less than 0.05. How it's less than 0.05? Because it is e raised to the power minus 8. And that's the reason it's less than 0.05. We write, as the p-value is less than 0.05, we reject null hypothesis, which means that there is a significant difference in marks of section A and section B. The mean marks of section B is 43.33. And that of section A is 29.11. So the difference is significant. Friends, make sure that this is the analysis which uh, we have done. It is on the assumption of equal variances. If your assumption is that our variances are not equal, again, go back in the data. And here in data analysis, you will have to select the option unequal variances. Now let's take the another case that is of the dependent sample t test. Now, what is it? Dependent sample t test is also known as a paired sample t test. This test compares the mean of two related groups or conditions. It is used when the measurements are taken from the same sample at different times or under different conditions. For example, it could be used to compare the performance of the individuals before and after some certain treatment or interventions. So let's take one example. We'll go in Excel workbook, sheet three. We want to ch check that is there any significant difference in the 
knowledge of Excel of the participants before and after the workshop. So before the workshop, their scores and after the workshop, their scores. So we want to check that is there any significant difference or not. So again, we'll go in data analysis and this time we will activate pad to sample for means. Click OK. I will remove this thing and we will do the selection again. Click here. Select it. Click here. Select it. Click on the labels if you are having the header. The, our header is before and after. Click on it. Your results are ready. I have copied this result in the Word file to write the interpretation. Let's go there. What's our null hypothesis? Null is there is no significant difference in the knowledge of Excel before the workshop and after the workshop. Alternative, there is a significant difference in the knowledge of Excel before the workshop and after the workshop. As earlier discussed, we have to focus on the mean and the p-value. Now see this p-value, it's again less than 0 0.05. The reason is it is exponential. It's a 10 to the power minus 5. How will we write the interpretation? As the p-value is less than 0 0.05, we reject null hypothesis, which means that there is a significant difference in the knowledge of action before and after the workshop. The mean marks of before the workshop is 29.11 and after the workshop is 43.33. So the difference is significant and the difference is significant. It means that the participants have gained the knowledge and they have improved in, in using Excel. So this was all about how to carry out t-test in Excel. For more videos on Excel, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I have uploaded tutorials on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias, link given in the description box.